trailers filled with tens of thousands of pounds worth of donations burned to the ground today at Goodwill's only retail support center in the Pikes Peak region. Yeah, those with the company say it's a loss of goods and opportunity. Colette Bordelon live off South Academy after walking through what was left of those donations today. Colette? It's been cleaned up a lot throughout the day out here, but right behind me, you can still see one of the biggest piles of these items that were burned. A lot of clothing in there. I'm told a lot of winter items like coats, jackets, mittens, and you can really still smell the fire out here right now. It's one of many reminders of what those donations could have done. The premise of a Goodwill store is that you come in there to save money. But more than money. What's it like to look at all of that? It's devastating. A fire on Monday morning burned new chances. What was lost that is really priceless in our definition here, and that's lost opportunities for individuals that would otherwise benefit from the sale of these uh, merchandise items. Brad Hafer with Goodwill Colorado says this is the only retail support center in the Pikes Peak area. It processes and sorts donations for their Colorado stores. We're talking in tens of thousands of pounds of merchandise within those 12 trailers. Lots of the items donated by people living in our region, many intending to help others in need. And lots of coats and mittens and sweaters, long sleeve shirts. Hafer says the money raised at Goodwill goes toward community programs to make people more independent. That's really what he's looking at in this loss. I see in my 10 years working at Goodwill, people who I've met, who I've hugged, whose hands I've shaken, who have come up to me and said, literally, Goodwill didn't just change my life, it saved my life. Because what you see in the wreckage left on the concrete. I see the future of Goodwill coming through this crisis as we always do thanks to the community support. Is something he says can be saved by donations needed now more than ever. The cause of the fire today is still being investigated. No one was hurt out here. Now, there were more than two dozen trailers in this lot when that fire started, but Goodwill called a semi-truck driver who came and moved some of them away from the flames. Colette, uh, wasn't there a fire at that same Goodwill location? Was it last summer, too? Yeah, Rob, that was actually early last June, and it burned some items that were staged and ready for recycling operations along with pallets. I called up the fire department and asked if a cause was ever determined in that fire. They say it's still under investigation. We'll be following up on both. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Club Bordelon News 5.